Hey, Virgo Sun Rising and Venus. This is what we got going on for your afternoon spread for November 17, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Uh, let's get a Virgo's coming with the Queen of Wands, the Empress, and the Knight of Pentacles. So it looks like you guys could have been dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius who had so much love for you, so much happiness. This is somebody who gets a lot of attention anywhere they go. You walk into a room, you brighten it up, and you're just looking fly AF Virgo's uh, Queen of Wands, Sun Karch. Uh, this could have also been a Leo. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and Aries too. By the end of the day, this person definitely has a lot of love to give, but nobody ever really gives them the love back, Ten of Swords. So maybe this person was dealing with... Um, Maybe you guys were dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who wanted to offer you guys love, but the connection came out to a complete ending. It was very quick and fast. It, it was like it came in fast and it didn't even get lifted up off the ground, like Ten of Swords. Like nothing came lifted up off the ground, all right? And that's because this person ended up leaving to go and be with this, this Empress here. Maybe this could be a baby mother. Maybe it's somebody who um, has definitely an alpha is how I'm seeing this. But they are still clinging on to this person's energy here with the Empress to the King of Wands. Could be a Sagittarius. This person's coming forth. They're coming together. They want to be with this Empress. So unfortunately, Virgos, if this is a connection that you guys were with, this Queen of Wands, there could this person could have left you guys or vice versa to go be with somebody else is how I'm seeing it, all right? So unfortunately, that relationship came to a complete ending. You guys moved on, went to a, went to a different person or vice versa. Now, this person here, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, wants to come towards you guys and make this stable offer, but they're not rushing and they're not trying to rush the connection between the two of you guys because they're still on the bounds of the Two of Pentacles. They still don't know what the fuck they want. They have the Queen of Wands who is so spontaneous, so beautiful, so happy, gets attention everywhere they go. They're just a beautiful person, Queen of Wands. And this Empress is also beautiful too it's it's no matter what direction they go into they don't lose in this area because these women here are very very beautiful or these two men are very beautiful right but they are still so even if they go to this empress remember something if they leave you to go be with somebody else <laughs> what's really gonna end up happening they still don't fucking really know in the end because they got a taste of both of these people so they're in the Two of Pentacles right now. They're still going back and forth. They're stuck. They don't know what to do. Hang men. Uh, so they're in the Two of Pentacles. They don't know what to do. They're trying to decide on who it is that they genuinely want. So even if they ended up this connection with this person here, they still don't know if that was the right thing for them to do by ending this connection over here with this uh, Queen of Wands. And they're still trying to figure out. Because passionately and sexually, that they're still wa they're wanting this Empress. And this is why they're going towards this Empress. Because I'm not trying to disrespect Virgos, but maybe this Queen of Wands wasn't doing it for them. You see what I mean? But this Empress is sexually being able to i don't know whatever it is at the end of the day man them problem ting you know men are gonna be aroused by who they want to fucking be aroused by at the end of the day and and it is what it is like it is what it is like what are you gonna do cry about it fuck it like whatever all right uh hangman two pentacles this person is going back and forth on who it is that they really want to be with so this person was definitely dealing with a three-party situation with the three of pentacles queen of cups hierophant Maybe you guys were dealing with somebody who could have potentially been married as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, this person is maybe, maybe you guys are dealing with somebody who's married. And you guys know that. So it's a three-party situation here, right? <sighs> Virgos, what are you guys going to do, Virgos? What are you guys really going to do? Or a cross-watcher, what are you going to do? Always leave a married man. Don't even bother investing your time in a married man. If they're not separated or they're divorced, what are you doing? Just leave them alone. And then when they can get their shit together, then they'll come back properly towards you. But don't be getting all... Oh, don't don't get all fucking don't don't put yourself in a spider web um or else you get eaten <laughs> seven of pentacles all right so yes you guys have a great connection with this person but at the end of the day they was giving to other people because they were still being a player even though they have a lot of love for you and, and feelings for you they were still being a player but realistically they're still coming back towards you guys Virgos. they do want to be with you for a one share your card they're coming running back for you after the fact that they haven't talked to you in a very long time this person has been in hermit. They've been going within, trying to figure out maybe being a Buddhist, maybe reaching out to therapy, trying to get help. Also, getting help by other people, getting help by a psychologist, a therapist, trying to figure out what they need to do because the actions that they do, these quick, fast move movements that they do is fucked up. And judgment's being called on this situation because every single time they come back towards you, they're always on some fuck shit. They're always arguing and beefing, whatever the case is. But your spirit and your angels are jumping in on the situation. Excuse me. They're jumping in on it, Virgo. So it's like if you're going to come back to start drama, we, the spirits, are going to jump in front of this person. And we're going to stop you from being able to have this reunion because realistically, judgment is here. Chariot is here. No. 
no, you're not coming in here to start drama and then fucking leave again. It's not going to happen. And it looks like it very much so did happen. Uh, Tower card, star card. You guys could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, a Taurus, an Aquarius, a Aries, a Libra, a Pisces, Sagittarius, and a Leo. But realistically, this person's trying to manifest you back into their life. They're curious about you. They're wondering about you. They're trying to figure out, like, why? Why that Virgo or Crosswatcher? Why are they not reaching out to me? Why? And they're finally seeing how powerful and how strong you are. So a lot of you guys have that self-control of like, okay, it ended. So why am I so why am I reaching out for? And you guys are very well aware of that. So this person's definitely feeling abandoned. They feel fucked up. They don't know what to do, but they are trying to uh what is it? They're trying to manifest you guys back in. But it's like them manifesting you back in is also very difficult because you're just like I know you're manifesting, but at the same time, like, you're very well aware. You're the strength card. So it's like you're you're too strong, you know, for their manifestation. So <laughs> the fucking funny and cute energy Virgos. They're trying to manifest you back in because they don't want to be the one to run after you. They want you to run after them. So they're trying to manifest you for you to go back to them so they can be like, I'm the six of ones. I got my Virgo <laughs> I, <laughs> I knew my manifestation was going to work. I knew my manifestation <laughs> and this person's like talking a whole lot of shit at their workplace like if you guys end up actually going back they're gonna be like yeah I got my Virgo back I got my cross watcher back and they're talking about it um but they are burdened at the same time because it seems like they're working very very hard to manifest you but it's very difficult for this person Virgos king of pentacles a Virgo energy as well so this person was definitely entertaining other people but they are having to heal themselves and they're realizing that, that in order for them to actually be with you they need to be a man or a woman like if they want you they need to be that they need to be the man they need to be a woman they need to come towards you on some mature shit and tell you what for guan they need to tell you these things they can't just be like oh i'm just gonna manifest them back in and then get them to come back no do something about it do so make a move do something if you want somebody go fucking get them you're worried about the reaction no response is still a response how are you gonna be worried it's like okay you sent them a message like hey they don't respond okay like is it going to ruin your whole entire day it shouldn't you reached out, they didn't respond, oh the fuck well, move the fuck on, it is what it is, a lot of people don't want that, <sighs> anyway, it's none of my business, at the end of the day, Virgos, if you want somebody, go fucking get them, if they don't respond back to you, then you know where you stand, if they can go days without talking to you, knowing how you feel about them, then why do you feel like they deserve somebody like you, it's a privilege to have somebody like you in, in, their, in, your, li in, in their life, so if they, they can't, you know, then, Go on with yourself. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, you got the Six of Cups. So with the Six of Cups, Jessica. So this person wants to come back again, Virgos. They want to balance everything out. Uh, they see that you are definitely in a position of being able to, they said humble. You're very humble here, Virgos. But with, this, with the Jessica, it's, it's very important that you guys know how to balance everything out. Like you know how to balance your whole entire life out, right? And this person wants to come back to you. They're thinking about you, reminiscing about you. And this is exactly why you guys are feeling them being able to manifest you because them, them sitting in the Six of Cups energy is very fucking strong and powerful. It's the Jessica card beside it. They want you to go to them because they're manifesting you. They're like, okay, if I think about them just a little bit longer, then maybe I'll be able to get them to come. If I, it's like, right? Because it's, it's telepathy. So it's like, if I think about them a little bit longer, then maybe they're going to be able to catch it and they're going to be able to come back in. Uh, but you guys are so fucking strong. Seven of Wands. They're like, no, like you, it's like you guys know, but if they want you, they're going to have to come to you, which makes them very sad because they do genuinely want to see you. They do love you. They're, it's very much so fucking them up with the moon energy because it's like, <laughs> and they're dreaming about you they're confused they're thinking about you constantly all day all night they don't know what to do they're very very scared and worried that you're moving on with your life three of one they're very sorry they're i mean when i say they're fucking scared virgos they're fucking terrified that you're moving on with your life because they know you can have anybody in the world that you want you're the nine of pentacles and this person's like sitting there trying to find ways to come running back towards you because they need to come back for you they need to because they're looking back at the past on how things had happened and how things had ended. And now they're like, oh, shit, I got to go back to my Virgo. So during the month of December, the, this person's coming back for you guys uh, during the full moon energy. All right. So do expect a message around December 8th is how I'm seeing that December 8th. December. So the first week of December, this person's coming in. So December, uh, December 3rd, December 8th, <laughs> the latest will be December 10th. So December 1st to December 10th. Okay. So the, some of you guys may have blocked this person from being able to reach out and it's stressing them the fuck out. Yeah, it's stressing them the fuck out. What the fuck you mean? It, you, you block them. The fuck? <laughs> okay. 
Uh, regardless, though, this person may have not perceived you to be who you are, but you are who you are at the end of the day. And when you know your shit, you know your shit. So a lot of you guys stay very, very quiet. You guys stay very, very silent. You guys are not the type of people to speak up a whole lot. You, Even though you know everything, you only say what you only speak when you need to speak is how I'm seeing this other than that you're very mute you're like a Buddhist you don't really you're not finna talk a whole lot you you feel like there's no point of you talking a whole lot there's no point so people perceive you to be this like uh, very quiet type of person but they don't know how highly intuitive you are and why you're always the way that you are and how you're always right when you actually do speak up right you're the queen of swords you use your mouth all the time when you communicate you're you're very strong with your communication and you're very fucking abundant too and this person's going to be left out and feeling all the way fucked up trying to free themselves from the devil because they are obsessively thinking about you can't stop thinking about you overthinking about you constantly feeling fucked up feeling trapped having traumas from the past feeling not worthy of you either ace of pentacles this person wants to come back in uh will of fortune the cycle's not over and the death card which is ironic because it's the ace of wands so it's like we're gonna give you the opportunity to come back again incorrectly you like in like space correctly you have to come back correctly to this virgo you must you must okay and if you don't we're putting an end to it but we're going to give you the opportunity to transform yourself, death card, to let this opportunity come towards you, ace of wands. After all the fuck shit you did, three of swords, after all the heartbreak, the sadness, the hurt, the fact that this person had to go take time for themselves and actually heal, right? So do expect a message coming in from this person, Virgos, and you guys are going to be really kind about it. Like, you're going to most likely respond back to them. But you know that this person is going to do whatever they can to have you and be with you because sexually that they're still holding on to you, five of, five of wands and five of swords. Right, So you know that they have the ability to play these fucking games with you. But in turn, they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. And a lot of you guys are going to be like, I don't want that fucking cup. Fuck out of here with that fucking I want a big cup. I want that big motherfucking cup. And this person is going to do whatever they have to do to get that for you guys. And once you speak up and let this person know what it is that you want, they will be able to communicate to you and let you and give you what you need. Communication is very, very important. You want a relationship? Say that you want a relationship. You want to fuck around? Say you want to fuck around. You want to be running game and treating people like they're your friends and you want to sleep with them? Okay, talk about that too. Say what you feel. You want to be loved? Talk about it. A lot of people struggle nowadays, especially men and women. Like, what the fuck? It's like very difficult to speak up and say what you want to say because you're really worried of rejection, you know? And I think it's time that everybody starts to come to the realization that rejection is God's protection. If they can't offer you what it is that you're really looking for and you have, and they're trying to let you know that they want to sit there and waste your time, get rid of them. You owe nobody nothing. What do you mean? Oh, so I'm going to take so I can just settle? That's the scariest fucking thing in the world. How are you going to settle with somebody that cannot give you anything that you're looking for? Who can't even do half the fucking, you know, to meet you halfway. That's very scary energy, Virgos. Let people know what it is that you want. Ace of Cups, this person wants to give you love. They want to give you a tremendous amount of love. They're going to communicate that with you. So they're hoping that you don't reject them because they feel like that you actually are going to reject them. Thanks, cuties. Bye.